Welcome back everyone, this is Stefan on the French Cooking Academy filming on location in France from Aix-en-Provence and today we're going to be talking porcelain fish called the mackerel. Now mackerel is the difficult fish to prepare because it's, it's kind of strong fishy in the pan, it gets dry and stuff like that, so what can you do? Well, today I wanted to share with you the one and only recipe that is brilliant for mackerel. It is actually a warm marinade called the Escabeche. That's the French name, of course, but it comes from Spain. It's called over there the Escabeches. The original recipe comes from there. In France, of course, the recipe is always different. The marinade is different, but it's very easy to make and it makes for a delicious cold starter. Now, marinating fish takes a lot of uh, flavors and you need a lot of acidity to really cook the fish because we're not going to really cook the fish it is the marinade that is going to cook the fish so here already look at this we've got plenty of acidity i'm using two types of vinegar cherry vinegar apple cider vinegar and then some more acidity with white wine this is a white wine from the aix-en-provence region and then we've got some beautiful flavors of coriander salt pepper and some olive oil and then the classics as always in french cooking onions shallots garlic bay leaf thyme, more acidity with some lemon and some carrots. So we can have the picture how our mackerel is going to start to taste, that kind of vinegary with wine, bit of oil in there, some coriander flavor, you know, already you can kind of feel how beautiful that thing is going to be. For the food preparation, very simple, everything has to be thinly sliced. Huh? So the carrots, the onions, the shallot, the garlic, even the lemon, the coriander seeds have to be crushed. That's the only thing. All the rest stay as is. And now for the cooking. So making the marinade is very easy. We're going to start on a very low to medium heat. I would say more low heat, 50 ml of olive oil. And I'm going to inspire here the technique from Indian cooking that always uses oil to infuse the flavor. So I've got my oil and I'm going to put all of my uh, flavoring ingredients that can be infuse. Huh? So I've got the garlic, the seeds in there and I'm even going to push it by putting also the, the black pepper in here and I'm going to wait for my heat to get higher and so it starts to sizzle. Perfect. So as you can see or hear, and there's a little sizzle. Can you hear that? And that's just enough like a gentle and we're going to start to infuse all these flavors. So I'm going to mix everything together. So my oil in effect now is getting all the flavors of the ingredients I've got in the pan and immediately I'm gonna put the rest of the onions and shallots and the carrots and put my heat back on very low because this is not meant to cook or brown at any point in time and this is just to sweat everything. Yeah? Suez les légumes. Very low temperature, just for a few minutes, just to release the flavor. And then we're going to add the vinegar. All set. So no further than two minutes. Huh? This is no coloration. And then you can add all of the vinegar. So I've got my cherry vinegar in here. And my apple cider vinegar. Now here, when we've got the liquid, of course, we can start to put the heat higher. Because we want to start boiling the whole lot. So I'm going to raise my heat to high and have that vinegar to boil a little bit to erase any trace of alcohol. Here is the boil we're after. Immediately, I'm gonna put a half a liter of wine. So this is the first glass and I'm gonna put another glass in. And goes the other glass. And same thing here. We're gonna wait for the boil to come back. Now, as soon as the marinade boils, you can add your salt. Uh, we're gonna give it a final, a little stir, a little bit of lemon juice as well in there. And I'll keep the fresh lemon for the end when we're going to pour that over the fish. Eh? So I'm going to leave this to simmer for five minutes and then turn the heat off and we're going to be taking care of the fish. Now for the fish, uh, there's some trimming to do. As you can see here, the, the skin of the, of the belly here is thin. You don't really want that. So what you can do is really trim that off. Eh? Cut the tail to make sure you get something presentable. Now sometimes in larger fillets, such as this one, let me take another one. You would see that here, uh, you can have fish bones and you can actually take them out with your knife or you can have, I will put a link in the video description for it. There's a special tongue for that where you can actually take out the excess of bones. So it is a fishy 
uh, sorry, it is a bony fish. Uh, so it, there will be some bones, so don't be uh, scared about that. Uh, you can always remove them and always trim everything and every fillet make sure it's nice and clean and you got the tail removed. When you're done preparing your fillet, uh, there's a little bit of seasoning that goes into it, so a bit of salt and a grind of uh, pepper. Now by the time you finish your fish or you season your fish, uh, the marinade is ready, so I've turned the heat off and we're going to leave it to rest while we're sizzling the fish. So the process here, I'm going to use that pan to sizzle a little bit the fish before putting it in that container where the fish is going to marinate. All right, so a little bit of olive oil, huh? just a bit. And the idea here is to sizzle the fish slightly, not on the skin side, but on the other side. You want to keep the... Uh, the skin nice and clean, nice and good looking. Eh? So I'm gonna go easy, two fillets at a time, and we're not cooking the fish. We're just having a little sizzle, only on one side, and then we're gonna put that in her tray. Okay, so 30 seconds later, I can already take my fish and I'm gonna put it in my container where the fish is gonna marinate. Yeah? And I'm gonna repeat the same process for all of my fillets but 30 seconds on one side only. Hold on, so I've actually rearranged my fish huh, in, my, uh, in my dish. I'm gonna pour over some more olive oil, which is not a 50 ml. And on top of that, I'm taking all of my marinade, which is still warm, and simply pour everything over. I'm gonna use a spoon to rearrange that and make it nice. And, uh, and now on top, I'm gonna try to add simply these lemon just to press them in a little bit so they're in the juice so they're not just there for the decoration and i'm going to finish off by putting a parchment paper on top so when you're all done the last step consists of having this to rest and cook now this uh, recipe when you make it, it cannot be eaten straight away because it needs to be refrigerated for 24 hours so kind of overnight so we're gonna cover the dish with a parchment paper and leave this in the fridge. And that's gonna cook the fish, uh, all the flavors are gonna to marry together, it's gonna to go throughout the fish. And tomorrow for lunch, we're gonna take this out and see how we can serve and plate this beautiful micro. And welcome back 24 hours of fast, how magical it is on video, how fast is it for you? But I've taken this out of the fridge and this is our result after 24 hours in the fridge. This is the marinade. So the mackerel, look at that. Let's try to show you on the camera. Uh, it's nicely cooked, nicely preserved. But what I want to try is the first the marinade. Mmm. Wow, it's amazing. The flavors have totally crisscrossed. Like you got the wine, the vinegar, hint of thyme, and that fishiness of the mackerel. But it's not overpowering. It's just really nice. Like a nice kind of mackerel dressing. So let's take a piece out and try it out. Nice. So before we plate this nicely, I um, just wanted to show you how the fish is actually cooked with the marinade. So look at that. As you can see, the piece of mackerel from yesterday that were almost raw, it's totally like a sardine in tin, really. And it's really tender. I'll just have a, a bite. It's firm. It's really infused with the flavor and it feels fresh. Right. It's not like this thin kind of sardines with that, that kind of old dish taste. That's like a really fresh fish um, that's been really cured, marinated, beautiful. So let's see how we can plate this beautiful mackerel now. All right, guys, we're all done and this is my plating. But if you come up with all kinds of nice decoration, I'm sure you're great at it. Please post this on my uh, Instagram account hashtag French Cooking Academy so I can really see what you guys are doing. I love to do this. There's plenty of pictures already so do not hesitate. If you have any questions on the recipe or general questions just post them in the comment section and if you like the recipe put it a thumbs up. If you don't like it put it a thumbs down and it always helps me to find some direction. I'll leave you with this beautiful escabeche of macro and please join me again on my next recipe on the French Cooking Academy. Take care. Bye bye.